I am bent out, guys. I'm very tired. Like, every time I come from my cross, the only thing I want to do is sleep. But I can't sleep because, like, how how can I sleep when there's a method that needs to be valid, to be developed? How can I sleep when when this mycotidialysis needs to be optimized? How can I sleep when there isn't proper treatment for TB meningitis? What do you mean I'm sleeping when there's, when, when there's children dying? babies how are you guys doing so today we have a very special video because your favorite youtuber is finally here Timber m is actually going to be giving you guys a q a update about what has been going on in his life i mean he's been very very busy but he actually decided to spend some time to spend some time out of his busy schedule just to come and give you guys an update so without any further ado Please help me welcome Timba M here. Um, hi. Thank you so much for welcoming me into your studios. Um, you have a beautiful ambience, beautiful studio. And your staff is very, very welcoming and um it's a very it's an honor and a privilege to be here and yeah thank you so much okay timba i'm just gonna get into it um i'm gonna start by asking you how are you doing the past three weeks have been pretty hectic i feel like they have been like the most hectic three weeks of my life if i'm being quite honest but i'm surviving and yeah, I mean, I love what I do, so I can't really complain. Yeah. Okay, Um. so how is Masters going? Yeah, my Masters project is going very, very well. Um, My my supervisor is very proud of me. Um, Because, like, so I had a meeting. So I have two supervisors, uh, a male supervisor and a female supervisor. So the male supervisor is, like, my primary supervisor. And he is... um. He's a neurosurgeon. He got his, um, he, so he did his master's in neurosurgery and he got it like a long time ago. So he's very, very smart. He's very, very you know, well informed. He's, 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 he, he inspires me. He doesn't even know it, but like he inspires me so much. Like that guy, like every time he speaks, it's like, oh my God, like so sophisticating. So I just like to be, um, around such energy yeah and then i then have a female supervisor my female supervisor um that's the one i meet up with most of the time and she's also like very much inspires me um so yeah as i was saying so uh masters is going good um so we assessed my masters this year i'm doing my masters in neurosurgery um for those who don't know and um so yeah we, we i was having a meeting with her and then the head of division the head of um um neurosurgery well the head of the neuroscience institutes um came in and also he's also a neurosurgeon and then um he was like and then my famous was like um so i'm having a meeting with him of course do you know him then we, he she introduced me to him and then she expressed how proud she is of me and how far i've gotten and how much work i've put in in such a little space of time and just like she She's actually surprised by my work ethic and about how, how, how interested, how in, how, and I don't want to say in love, but how passionate, how passionate I am about the kind of work that we do. So I would really like to say Masters is going well, even though like it's, 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 it's very stressful and it's, it takes so much of my energy and my time. And just this past two weeks, honestly, I haven't, I've, I haven't felt so fatigued, but I'm, I'm happy. Like, um, yeah. So for those who don't know, I'm doing... Uh, my, my 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 research um at 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 um, Red Cross Children Children's War Memorial Hospital, and there's a lot of things that we see that is like oh my god like they keep me up at night like okay now I feel like I'm talking way too much but like I feel like I have a lot to to just 
takeout. So interesting, interesting. Um, how far are you on your master's project? So yeah, I'm pretty pretty far. So um, for those who don't know, my project is based on microdialysis. Oh, well, let me see. Okay, actually, my project is very very complex. Like it was supposed to be mainly based on microdialysis because microdialysis so let me just explain this so microdialysis is a technique that is used to measure um well to detect and well it's used to continuously detect and analyze the concentrations of any analyze of interest in any bodily metrics of fluid so in 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 our division um in the division of neurosurgery at red cross it is used um in the brain and then it is divided into two parts cerebral microdialysis and ventricular microdialysis so in in cerebral microdialysis is when um a catheter is is taken and then it is placed inside the brain tissue so a, a, a small hole is is open in the brain and then the catheter is placed in the brain and it's like a very specific thing and then so that's and then it's placed in brain tissue and then see and then um, ventricular microdialysis is when the catheter is placed in the cerebrospinal fluid in the ventricular spinal fluid so yeah um interestingly enough um microdialysis is actually so the Red Cross Hospital is the only hospital in the whole of South Africa that does microdialysis. So now my project, how the how it how so how so so my project is based on microdialysis. But then now, um, what I've been doing is I have been um studying so far. So I've done my literature review on microdialysis and tuberculosis meningitis because we are trying to optimize and develop. A microdialysis method that can be used to accurately uh, measure um, the drugs that are used for tuberculosis meningitis and tuberculosis men meningitis is actually one of the leading cause of death of of mortality in children under the age of five so like even though tb has been out for so many years like a, the perfect treatment regimen hasn't been established and so now i'm trying to come up with the most efficient regimen that can be used to to effect to effectively um treat TB, men, TB meningitis. TB meningitis is um tuberculosis of the brain, and so it it is caused by when um there's like inflammation of the brain meninges, and it is the most severe and deadly form of um TB uh, of TB. And the drugs that are used for TB meningitis are not effective. So this is why this kind of work. It's important so now excuse me so now my, so what else so, so like i said i've done my literature review based on microdialysis and tb meningitis and um um the iscus flex analyzer which is like something that we use to this is very very complex like like you see it's taking so much of my like you know and i just get so excited when i talk about this stuff because i'm just so passionate about it so yeah i've done my uh, so i've done that so then now some one of so now we decided me and my female supervisor we decided to to come up with this experiment um we tend to check the stability of the metabolites that are currently studied by cerebral and ventricular microdialysis so then now we, we we're checking how stable glucose is how stable pyruvate is how stable lactate um is um so it's glucose um lactate pyruvate glutamate and glycerol so these are the markers that we 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 trying to check how stable they are. So now I don't want to get into the. Into the aspects and the, the the background behind everything, but basically during traumatic brain injury and TB meningitis, um the levels of glucose in the brain they go down, and the levels of pyruvate also go down. While their levels of lactate, glutamate, and 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 glycerol go up, so we're trying to check how stable those metabolites are when they are collected from CSF. So we have been using cerebrospinal fluid, and we have been trying to figure out how stable um CSF samples are, um well how stable the metabolites are from CSF samples. So that's what we've, we've been doing. And um so we've we've done so much work on this. Like literally, we've done so much work to the point where. I have literally been spending like most of my time at Red Cross, my days, my night, like literally, I, I would literally go there at nine 
8 a.m leave there after literally 10 p.m because like i'm just there trying to optimize the machine trying to check how stable it is after how many hours after how many days after how if it's stable in, in on, on the bench if it's stable at room temperature if it's stable um, on eyes if it's stable it in in minus 80 freezer so i've just been doing like a lot of work like this past two weeks have been very very hectic for me because like i would literally stay at red cross and then as soon as i get home i need to process so as soon as i get data i want to process it and processing data Oh my, data collection is fine but data processing it takes a lot of time so after i get get home at like 10 p.m i have to come here process my data after processing my data i have to make it i have to make a note then after that i need to speak to my supervisor and be like okay this is what i found this was happening so like it's just it's, it's been very, very stressful like oh my god and in addition to that so there's like obviously so that's like work that's related to my project but there's other work that i ha i do at red cross like like I, I i get on shifts um at red cross so there's other work that i need to do in addition to my own project work so imagine how much time i spend there but yeah it's it's it's, it's been very it's ill oh, the past weeks it's, it's it's been hectic like it's been it was hectic to the point where i even like stopped posting on social media this past people who know me don't, don't know that i'm always posting on social media but this past three weeks i literally haven't been posting because it's just been so 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 hectic people have been asking um, i don't know if i'm supposed to look at you at the camera but i will have been asking people to um, how are you doing are you fine you haven't been posting why i'm just there like oh guys i'm just i'm going through it's like i am going through it this master's project is making me go through it but i can't really complain because like i have so much passion for for what i'm doing okay how often do you meet your supervisor and how often are you actually supposed to meet i'm supposed to meet with my supervisor once every two weeks but we've literally been meeting literally it like at least twice a week while we're supposed to meet twice a month but we literally been meeting at least twice a week because there's so much to do and my female supervisor she's so precious she she i feel like the project that i'm doing is something that she also has a passion about so we are just so both excited and when i ask like my fellow um my, my fellow students who are also like um there by neuro Neurosurgery. They just feel like, oh my god, I haven't messed up with my supervisor in in months. I haven't messed up with my supervisor in this time, and I'm just like, me and my supervisor, we literally missing so much, and it just, it, I feel like it's a testament to me to see how, like, the work. I'm like, yo, guys, I don't know. It's it's just, yeah. But like, we we're missing like a lot. Even yesterday we met. Um, yesterday we met and then she gave me some feedback then we met today then she gave me some feedback so we're gonna meet again tomorrow she's gonna give me some more feedback and then we're gonna meet even on friday so you know we're just meeting and meeting and meeting and yeah you seem to be going through a lot man um very very inspirational um how is your mental health doing how are you coping um yeah at this point mental health is not even a thing like yeah my mental health is beneath like it's just it, it it doesn't even exist like it's just it's one of those things like i don't yeah it's just it's it's life like it's literally life like yeah it doesn't exist guys are you cool? are you bent out i am bent out um i am as i actually i literally oh yeah this, literally with me and my supervisor we even met on a Sunday and I'm not supposed to be doing any like work related to my projects on weekends. But like we live we even met on a Sunday. Imagine meeting on a Sunday. But yeah, I'm I am bent out, guys. I'm very tired. Like every time I come from Red Cross, the only thing that I want to do is sleep. But I can't sleep because like how how can I sleep when there's a method that needs to be valid to be developed? How can I sleep when when this macro dialysis needs to be optimized how can i sleep when there isn't proper treatment for tb meningitis what do you mean i'm sleeping when there's when, when there's children dying from tb meningitis what do you mean i'm sleep i'm supposed to be sleeping like when the four drugs that are used for tb meningitis are not effective in in children like what do you mean like i literally i haven't been getting sleep i will literally like sleep for two hours i'll sleep at like 1 a.m then at 4 i'm up I'm pushing 
I'm really, really pushing. Because, like, and I feel like people always ask me, how do, how do you do it? And I'm just like, it's the drive. Like, there's, there's, there's no cheat code. There's no, um, you need to do this. You just need to be passionate about it, honestly speaking. And that's just what I am. So, I am burnt out. I remember this other time last week. Like, I literally came back home. And I slept. I didn't study, didn't do it. I literally slept. And when I woke up, I felt so guilty. I was like, how? I think I slept for like six hours. Yeah, I slept for like six hours. And and it was during the even worse, it, was, it wasn't even on a weekend. It was during the week. And I was like, how do you sleep this long when you have so much work to do? And like another thing, I have I literally have so much work to do because um in addition to being at Red Cross, I'm also like a um a, a PBL facilitator and a facilitator like um undergraduate um, medical students. So um that's I'm oh, I'm doing that because it's going to help me in my journey to becoming a professor. Like you guys don't understand how much I want to be a professor. Like I want to be a professor with all that I have. Like yo my male my male supervisor is a professor and the respect he has in that hospital oh my god and listen i'm not doing it for the respect i'm doing it because i have a passion for it and i'm doing it because i want to help students get to where they want to get so as a professor i'll be able to work with students and help nature them to becoming what they want to become that's why i want to be a professor so that they can change people's lives yeah so the, um, that's why I'm doing PPR because it's going to help me towards my process of becoming a professor. And then like we meet, um, we, I meet with the students on, I have different groups from different years. I meet with students on Monday, um, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But it's only like two hours, it's not like a lot of hours. And then briefings are like an hour. Um, and then also I'm like, I'm like, I'm... I'm part of like faculty council, ugh, ugh, sorry, the faculty board for the faculty of, faculty of health sciences. I'm the treasurer for the postgraduate health sciences student council. Um, I'm part of like so many SRC um, subcommittees, including like the working of the arts committee. I am on the student um, treasury um, board as an assessor. Ugh, not student treasury, student um tribunal is an assessor and i only i just got a gig to become well it's not really a gig but like it's it's a leadership role to to be to be i mean to be as part of to join the election council for the src and faculty council elections for this year so i love student leadership so much like i love if as much as i love like doing put stuff related to what i studied but I love student leadership so much. So that's why I'm doing all these things. So yeah, guys, it's a lot, but it's doable. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's my life update. Um, I probably took so much of the time. Probably like over at Spain. I think it's set up like 10 minutes, but I know I spoke probably way more than that. But yeah, um, thank you so much once again for inviting me on your channel. I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, um, to my to well to your Timber babies um keep going guys literally just keep going if you want something keep going there is no trick the only trick is keep doing keep going you need to do it and remember always remind yourself why you're doing what you're doing and yeah thank you all right thank you very much for coming to our channel and we really really appreciate your presence and with that said, guys, yeah, Temba M himself just came and graced up with his presence. We, we really, really appreciate him. And we also appreciate you guys for constantly watching our channel. We appreciate the support you have been giving us. And each and every single one of you subscribers, you guys mean so much to us. And yeah, you help keep this channel going. So yeah. Shout out to you guys and bye. Oh, 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 oh.